In this video, what we are going to do is basically learn how to use the write file command and read file command. How we are going to implement this solution? Well, basically, we're going to be sending a, well, a get request to two different uh, endpoints, right? Every single endpoint, as you can see here, it they have a kind of array. And inside of this array, we have a body with different objects. So we're going to be getting every single object from the both endpoints. And we are going to be saving this data in a fixture file, as you can see here, right? I have created the read-write.json file. And as you can see, here I have the account uh, information from the endpoint and also the to do's information over here. So please keep stay, stay tuned because we're gonna learn how to do this with Cypress IO. So let's go ahead and do it. As I told you and as I promised you, uh, what I'm gonna do right now is well explain explain you how to use the CY write file command and also the read file. What I'm gonna do is here is, well, uh, send an API request to this endpoint, which is localhost 300 accounts. In this endpoint, as you can see here, well, what, what we have is a, a in an array of objects, right? So as you, if I come here and inspect and come to the network tab, and I, if I refresh this website, you can see here that probably we have a get a method here and the response is a simple array of objects in this case i only have one object so what i'm going to do right now is we'll request this information uh, from the endpoint and i'm going to try to save the the information in a fixture file in a json file all right so i'm going to come here to my project and i'm going to start working on my project in my code um, i'm going to call this describe as write read fixture demo okay just a declarative name over here i'm gonna also uh, create an it it is gonna be a uh, write uh, json uh, i'm sorry let's see that let's say that i want to write a, a a object in a json i'm, I'm sorry let's 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 <laughs> call this write a, an api response to an to an to a fixture file okay yeah it sounds good. Then what I'm going to do here, well, is basically a, a simple Psy uh, request, right? Which is the command to perform a API testing in Cypress, I guess. And uh, well, what I'm going to do here is, well, copy the endpoint here and we'll send the, the endpoint as a parameter. In this case, I know that, well, if uh, the, the, the HTTP command that I have to use is get, so I have to specify at the beginning of this uh, command, right? Uh, if you haven't seen how to use the side request command, please take a look at the API testing videos that I have made before. You will be capable to check, for example, the status, check the, the response, check the schema, make sure that every single key is the key that you want and so on. So please go ahead and take a look of those videos. Then what I'm going to do here is use the then command. And inside of the then command, what I'm going to do is, well, uh, I'm gonna use the callback to execute when the promise is resolved. As you can see here, it is gonna be returning a promise for the completion. Well, I'm gonna just use a callback function here, right? <laughs> and this is gonna be call response, okay? I'm gonna use an arrow function and then I'm gonna be working with the callback, okay? In this case, the response is gonna be representing every single thing that I have in the yielded object. What is the yielded ob object? If I come here and I use the scilock, um, well, command, and I print the response here, you will see that I'm gonna be receiving an object. And I'm gonna try to show you. I'm gonna open up the test runner over here. I'm gonna execute the script. And as you can see, I have an object here. And if I inspect this web browser, you will see that probably I have an object here. And as you can see, it has different keys, for example, it has a body, it has the headers, it has a, a, a key name is OK status, it has the status 200 and so on, right? What I'm going to do is capture the body and the body has one single key in this case, which is, well, uh, the key number zero. And here we have the email and the password that I want to save. So uh, if I, for example, enter or actually ex access the body, the, re the body response you will see that probably I'm going to just have one single 
response as you can see here i'm receiving the array with the object that i want to get right so i'm gonna try to save this in my in my in my picture where is my picture located well i have created a, a, a folder name here a named read write folder inside of this folder i have a read write.json file and it is uh, under the fixtures file uh, under cypress folder right so what i'm gonna do what i'm going to do here is well use the the command side right mm -hmm. and here i'm gonna use the get command in order well, to get the response and over here what i'm gonna do is also okay well just copy the endpoint and paste it in my side write request i'm sorry i'm doing this wrong right i have done this before in the side request i'm kind of <laughs> distracted today I'm, I'm sorry what i have to, to to pass here as as parameter is the the, the place or the path to where my picture uh, file or the json file is located right so what i what i have to do here is well uh, pass the cypress folder uh, use the fixtures folder then the uh, well inside of the read write folder and then look for the json inside of it which is read write that json uh, file under over here right mm -hmm. now that i have def uh, declared the path where, where this is located what i'm gonna do is well just pass the response body that i have as a promise over here right using the then command and probably if i i'm sorry let me see what i'm doing here if if i execute this probably we're gonna be storing the body in the in the in this json file that i have here as you can see basically i have an array an empty array and we're gonna be writing down the body inside of this array so let's try to see if it works or not I just I'm gonna come and execute this. I have a kind of issue here, which is saying side write is not working. Oh, okay, it is side write file. I'm I'm kind of distracted today. <laughs> and as you can see, well, in the test runner, uh, it is it is saying that well, the the test case or the test script has passed, and uh, it has done the request. As you can see here, if if I inspect the the console. And if I look for the uh, the request here, let me see what I can see it. The yielded object, right? Which is the response that I'm getting from, from the get. You can see that I have the body and it has only one key as we saw before, but also it has performed a write file. And probably if I come here, you will see that now we have the data from the, from the get pasted or written uh, in this JSON file. So as you can see, this is very good, right? Uh, in in case you need it. So the next thing that I want to do here, pretty quick, is well, let's imagine that uh, for any reason, <laughs> it, you you have to apply this this knowledge in your in your every single uh, well work cases, right? I want to also uh, look for this endpoint data, this body data. Okay, and I want to save that in this same JSON file, all right? I want to place, for example, a comma here and create new objects with data from another endpoint, okay? So I'm going to try to explain you how you can achieve that in case you need it. Or if, if you need to update the, the data from another JSON file, well, it is going to be also helpful, helpful for you. Okay, I'm going to come here to my spec and I'm going to create another it. I'm gonna call this adding more objects to our array um, of responses. <laughs> okay. The, the the next thing, the next step that I have to do here, well, is I'm gonna declare a constant here, which is gonna be file name. Just to give you an example, in this case, what I'm what I wanna say, what I want want to say is well, the the path where my Cypress, uh, my, my JSON file is located, right? So I have this look centralized in a constant variable. The next thing that I want to do is, well, do the same stuff, right? I'm going to do a side get. And in this case, I, I have to, I'm sorry, side request. And I'm going to be, well, requesting a get HTTP request. And then I have to specify the path where I want to, uh, 
well, well the, the, the path or the request that I want to do for the endpoint to do in this case, right? I'm gonna just paste that in this another parameter here. And well, the response that you may imagine, it is gonna be an array of two objects. So what I'm gonna do is, well, uh, I'm gonna use another command that we have seen before, which is its. With the its, we can specify as a specific um, key of the of the yielded object. So, for example, I wanna request the body, the key body, in that request, and then I want to uh, well use the each command, right? Uh, what I'm gonna do right now here is, well, get every single object from the body. And I'm gonna call this, for example, a um, object over here, right? I'm gonna call every single object from the body, object. And I'm gonna use this a callback function to iterate over every single object that we have in the body, okay? Once I have done this, well, the next th the step is, well, open up the, the brackets and go ahead and do our code i'm gonna write down the next command that we have in our list which which is read file command okay and inside of here we have to well specify the file name that or actually the file that that i want to uh, that to read right in this case is this one over here so once i have done this um what i'm gonna do is also use the then command here and here I'm gonna well specify or actually access every single uh, or actually access the array of objects okay so for example I call, can call this array and I'm gonna use another callback function inside of the each okay and here what I'm gonna do is well basically uh, I'm gonna call the array okay the array that it is actually getting all the data from this file all right this array in particular and then what i'm gonna do is well actually push the and the, the the object that we have in the in this context right which in this case for example for each object it will be this object here and then another one right so what i'm gonna it is kind of hard to explain but i think it it is understandable right uh, what i'm gonna what i'm going what i'm doing here is basically iterating over every single object in the body response okay and then what what i'm trying to do is reading the file and then assign every or actually the array in a single uh, variable here which is array and then we're doing the pushing to uh, well at every single object that we have in our response in this case it was called object over here right and once i have done this well now my array has uh, well the data that we got from the json file and then i want to well write it again so i have to use the same command that you saw before in this case what was a write file and then well, the parameters that we need, as you saw before, well, those are basically the file path. So I can pass the file name here because I have declared that as a variable, right? And then we have to pass the array because it is going to be, well, uh, rewriting every single object that was in the array over here, right? And if I, well, I'm going to just delete this because the, the process was done over here without my <laughs> execution since i have the test runner open but i'm gonna just execute this again as you can see here well what i what i'm gonna do is or actually the results are gonna be well the first object that i had from the first endpoint and then every single object from the second endpoint is gonna be extracted using the the each command and then every single object in the array is gonna be stored in this uh, variable over here and then we're gonna be pushing uh, the object that we are getting from uh, from the uh, body over here right so that's basically what i'm trying to say and trying to explain you that's the the idea of this video like trying to teach you different scenarios about how you can use this uh, those commands uh, side right and side a read file right the well there are a lot of scenarios that you can apply this so please try to well 
just uh, implement this depending on your use case that you have in your real life. Thank you very much for watching this video. It's it's a very interesting video. I hope so that you liked it. Please le let a, a good like in the video. Please let a comment if, if you have any suggestion, if you want to uh, learn something else about Cypress and uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.